One day I bumped into this big shot TV guy I know. He said, I'm really desperate. Would you like to host a show? I says, I'm kind of busy here, saving the world from crime. But if the money's right, then buddy, show me where to sign. Show him where to sign. I knew I'd need some co-hosts or I would surely fail. I remembered I had Brack and Zorak locked up in my jail. Hello. I told them all about the show. They were happy as can be. Yeah, right. The show is Cartoon Planet and the rest is history. Re, 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 re. Cartoon Planet starring me. And me. And me. You know, Zorak, life is good. Darn good. Pretty mighty awfully darn good, I'd say. Right? Whatever you say, Mary Sunshine. You know why life is good? Do you know why? Do you want me to tell you why? All right, I'll tell you why. Because I just stopped by the mail room to pick up my weekly reader and the Cartoon Planet fan mail was piled up clear to the ceiling. You know what that means. Uh Pork chops for everybody? Nope. It means somebody's actually watching the show. Holy guacamole. That means we have fans. Crazy, rampaging fans who will follow us devotedly to the ends of the earth. Oh, like the Grateful Dead. Of course they'll be grateful. And they'll be dying to see us when we go on tour. We're going on tour? Nope, but if we did, they'd be out there screaming and chanting, We want space ghosts. We want space ghosts. Hey. What about me? Well, I suppose there'd be a few Twisted Sisters out there chanting, We want Zorak. Space Ghost, have you ever bothered to read the fan mail? Read it? No. Don't we have people who do that? Little people? Yeah, well, next time you have a minute, ask one of the little people who those fan letters are for. But they're for me, aren't they? A few of them are, sure. A few of them are for me, too. But most of those fan letters are for Brack. No, take it back. I can't take it back. It's true. Brack is... Hey, I don't know what it is about him. I can't put my finger on it. I'm not sure I want to. But whatever it is he's got, I'll tell you what. The chicks dig him. Hello everybody! Today on Cooking with Brack, we'll be preparing one of my favorite recipes. The cooking segment is canceled. What again? Why? Remember that last little treat you conjured up? You mean Brack's pork tartare with halibut gravy serving turf combo platter? Right. And do you remember all that messy business with the Board of Health? Those Board of Health guys wouldn't know creative cuisine if it bit them! It did bite them. That's why they threw the producer and the GM in jail for reckless endangerment. Executive type guys don't go much for them little adventures. Hey, what's the big deal? So a few people got a tummy ache. Tummy ache? The whole crew lost all feeling in their arms and legs. Well, they're moving around pretty good now. Except for that Garber guy. Poor Garber. Jeez, tough break. How was I supposed to know he was allergic to cats? I think you're supposed to cook the pork. Now you tell me. I'm rambling. Rambling, rambling high and low. I'm rambling. Ramble, ramble, rambling. Rambling everywhere I go I ramble down to visit with Mary Jane But she's up and moved away and changed her name So I go rambling Yeah, I'm rambling I'm just a rambling guy I'm wandering Yeah, wandering Wandering here and there And I'm wondering Yeah, boy, I'm wondering If I pack me enough underwear I wander down to 
visit with Agnes Rose. She slams the door so hard on me it breaks my nose. Yeah, I go wandering. My oh my, I'm just a wandering guy. Oh yeah, just a rambling wandering guy. Tip your weight, staff. Now, here's a tasty little nugget of joy from Zorak. The praying mantis, known in the scientific community as Mantis religiosa, makes a great house pet. Not only do we devour lots of other annoying insects, we're also pretty good conversationalists, if I do say so myself. Which reminds me, my favorite plant is the cactus. I like it because it's green, has long prickly thorns which grow all over its surface, and because it grows and flourishes in the otherwise dry, hot, barren wasteland of the desert. I also like it because from time to time they produce large, white, beautiful flowers. <laughs> what can I say? Everybody likes flowers, even us evildoers. Here's a letter from John Vitti, Watertown, Massachusetts. Dear Space Ghost, Wonder Woman is at the front door. Bat Girl is at the back door. Where do you go first? Wonder Woman is hot. Yeah, but Bat Girl's old man is police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. So, when the old geezer retires... Ooh. Commissioner Space Ghost. Exactly. Hey, here's another letter. Dear Space Ghost, you are a cool dude. Me and the Martians I live with think that your show is the coolest. I love the cricket looking guy and the predator looking guy. I'll keep drinking gravy and kicking back while I watch your spiffy show. Signed, David Thompson, Indianapolis, Indiana. Also known as the King of Cheese Whiz. Obviously a crackpot. I don't have anything to add to that. Good. Here's a letter from Spencer's son, Novato, California. Dear Space Ghost, I wear a pantsuit and a cape. Mi visto con mayas y capa. Let's all say it. Mi visto con mayas y capa. Mi visto con man. One time I hired a monkey to take notes for me in class. I would just sit there with my mind a complete blank while the monkey scribbled on little pieces of paper. At the end of the week, the teacher said, Class, I want you to write a paper using your notes. So I wrote a paper that said, Hello, my name is Bingo. I like to climb on things. Can I have a banana? Eat cake. I got enough. When I told my mom about it, she said, I told you never trust a monkey! The end. Is it fun being on the TV? Well, um, I'll tell you, uh, buddy. Uh, see, there's these lights, uh, up above me that shine down on me all the time, and I just am always... I sweat a lot! And it gets really hot in this stupid mask, and sometimes I want to take it off, but then, then the makeup person says, Hey, don't. You're ugly. And I say, But I'm not ugly. And she says, No, oh, you don't know it, but you are. And so uh, then, you know, the, uh, oh, one time when I was on TV, I'm telling you, boy, it was just, I usually take the bus to work, and, well, see, they didn't, I got to work, and they didn't have my pineapple. And I was like, where's my pineapple? And they said, well, Mr. Bragg, we don't have your pineapple today. We ran out. And I'm like, well, what do you know about that? 
You think I'm gonna go out on stage without my pineapple? You think I'm gonna do that? Come on! It's in my contract that I have to have a pineapple. And I didn't have the pineapple, so, you know, my day was shot. So I called my agent and he said, well, hey, babe, that's the way it goes in the show business. And I said, that is not the way it should go. A guy's got to have his pineapple. What's going to happen to the world if I don't get my pineapple? Because if I don't get my pineapple, I don't get my vitamin C. And if I don't get my vitamin C, then I can't work anymore! Stupid agent, you're fired! I'm all worked up now. I gotta go outside. Space Ghost, my name is Chris Funk from Ferndale, Washington. I'm really funky like you. I think Zorak is a doo doo head. Doo doo head? No, that hurts. By the way, do you like to do the Mambo? Dun 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 dun. Stop it! Here's a letter sent by Brandy and Carrie from Kansas. Dear Zorak, I am 19 and so is my roommate. We are both waitresses and college students. We watch your show all the time. We wish we could find a stuffed toy of Zorak because he is so cute. What a cute little guy! Cute as a button! Just look at him. I want to cuddle him. You can't conquer anyone when you're cute. I mean, how would it look? You land on a planet with a thousand or so evil henchmen, and all you hear is, look at the cute little green invaders. Have you ever seen such lovable little munchkins? Sheesh. I'm cute, and I don't care who knows it. Potatoes! Hey, sweet potatoes! Baked potatoes! Potato chips! Whoa! Smoked sausage! Fried chicken! Pepperoni pizza! Tenderloin chips! Nobody can make a donut! Do the thing you do. Believe me, baby, believe me, baby. I've tried what a few. I'm eating meatballs in Sweden and pork chops in Peru. But all it did, all it did, all it did, all it did, all it did was remind me of you, baby. And your mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes. Oh, baby. Pass the butter. Roses are red, roses are blue. It's time for Poets Corner. Yahoo! Here's a poem by Johnny Yates. I love your meads, and I love your flowers, and I love your junkets mainly. But behind the door, I love kissing more. Hubba hubba. Oh, look not so disdainly. I love your hills, and I love your dales, and I love your flocks of bleating. <laughs> On the heather to lie together with both our hearts a beating. Yeah, baby. Now it's time once again for the Cartoon Planet Storybook. Here's a short story called Skunky the Fur Trapper. It was written by Andy, age 29. Is that right? He's a big boy. Okay. Let's see what the 29-year-old writes. Once upon a time, before the revolution, there was a fur trapper named Skunky who wandered the frontier with his pachyderm, Pudley. I skins him and trudes him, oh Pudley, Skunky would say. Pudley would reply. 
One day, Skunky decided he didn't want to be a fur trapper anymore. <coughs> Which meant, that's fine by me, said Budley. And that's how Skunky the Fur Trapper became General George Washington. The End. Hey, Zorak, who's on first? What? No, no, no. Who is on first? Uh, huh? <laughs> who's on first, Zorak? I don't even know what you're talking about. He's not on first. Who is, you big dummy? You know, Space Ghost, sometimes I just don't get you. Quick, Zorak. Yes means no, and no means yes. Should I destroy you? No. No. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know. Time's a wasting, son. L last night I had this dream that I went to Earth and I was there and I walked around on the street and this guy came up to me and he said, Hey, you know what? You look like somebody familiar. And I said, well, my name is Brack, and he said, no, that's not it. You look like my friend from high school. And, and I said, well, what if I am? And he said, well, do you remember Sheila Darnworth? And I said, um, no. And he said, well, she was your girlfriend. And I said, well, I, d I really only had imaginary girlfriends. I don't know any Sheila Darnworth. And he said, but you gotta know Sheila Darnworth, man. She was your girlfriend. And I said, hey, hey, I don't know you. And he said, hey, I know you. And I said, no, really, get out of my face. And then I woke up. Got a problem? I'm listening. The kids at school don't like me. My girlfriend says I smell. The teachers say I'm lazy. Some guys are whiny. Zorak, can you help me? Sure, kid. Just tell old Zorak. Now, what's your problem? This mask is really itchy. My underwear's too tight. No one understands me. Yeah, right. Now it's time for Zorak's help, please. Zorak, here's a caller with a question. Okay. Zorak, is that really you? Yes, I think so. I want to ask you something. I'm listening. My folks always say it's better to be nice to people. Uh huh. But you're never nice to anybody. So what? But you seem to be doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm doing great. Held captive in this stinking prison pod, working for Space Ghost. No TV, no outside play, no birthday parties. Every day I pay the piper for not being nice to people. Zorak! Yeah, what is it? I really think you could be nice if you tried. You really think so? Why don't you try? Okay. Uh, Space Ghost? Uh, you look lovely today. <laughs> oh my. And you don't smell very bad either. Why, thank you! And your big fat head doesn't look as big and fat. You see, you can be nice. We'll be back next week, same time, for more of Zorak's Helpful Hints. Bye now, fat head. I went out last night to get me a bite. It was about a quarter to two. I met a little guy named Love Charles Allen. We did the hoo ho Hey, hoo Pick your left foot up until you touch your nose. Put your rear on your ear and wiggle your toes. Hop all around like a kangaroo. You're almost ready to hoodly hoo Grab some pickles and a pound of cheese. Get some burgers and bay your knees. Eat them all up and don't forget to chew. Now you're doing the hoodly hoo Hey! I'm talking to you! Look, kitties. Space Ghost is talking in his sleep. 
Let's see if he says anything stupid. Uh, hi, Billy. How are you doing, Billy? Can I sit here? Test? What test? Is there a test today? I know she told us yesterday, but I forgot. Holy space cheese. I forgot to study. I'm going to fail my superhero space exam. No! Hey, space ghost, wake up. <laughs> what? Huh? Did I fall asleep? No. Did you study for the superhero space exam? What? It's today? No! <laughs> And now, here's a word from Mr. Blinky. Who's Mr. Blinky? He's my imaginary friend. Oh. <laughs> you can say that again. Say what again? <laughs> you ought to see him when he eats. He's talking about me, isn't he? He did what? <laughs> I'll get you for that, Blinky. <laughs> Well, how was that? It stunk. Dwayne, your partner, around.